Boom! What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Ticket Symbol and IO Neo. So this is a company that we've covered here on the channel. You guys know that I'm long Neo, and I continue to find opportunities um, to keep adding to my position as I see fit. So there's been some new development as far as the company and some stuff that they, they, they're working on. I want to make sure that I cover that with you guys. Also, Neo has their Q2 um, earnings call coming out tomorrow. So I want to make sure that we also talk about that and I give you guys uh, some of uh, some of the things I'm looking at and what to expect. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Neo, guys, this is again um, a Chinese electric company. So I don't think that if, you, if you've been watching my channel, you probably already know about Neo or you probably own the stock. So I'm not going to go into the new ones there, but I'm just going to focus on um, some of the, the updates that they have. And also we'll talk about their earnings call. So again, most recently, Neo, um, when they make any changes, when there's any news, guys, I always try to make sure that we cover that here on the channel so you guys are aware. So Neo recently um, made some, uh, really hit a milestone that I want to make sure that we cover um, it here. So if I can just switch here. So Neo battery swap station reached 350, half of its re uh, renewed uh, goal for the year. So this is um, something that Neo had uh, set the target. So they wanted to put um, over, um, I think over 500 um, uh, charging stations across China. So it looks like Neo is on par with that. They continue to um, put those charging stations across the country. And again, guys, I've talked about this here on the channel that Neo, for some reason, has found favor with the Chinese government. So, um, of all the other companies and the, the crackdown and everything, so far Neo is still sitting pretty good. They haven't had any issues uh, with the Chinese government, which tells me that they uh, really have favors with them. So that's really important. The fact that these are charging stations or swapping stations are still going on. And again, for those of you guys that don't understand what these swapping stations are, um, basically uh, with a Neo car, what you do is you drive up to the, ch the, the swapping station. Um, it, again, the whole thing is automated. You would have an uh, automated system would take out the batteries from the car uh, that's uh, not charged or that's um, low in charge and then replace it with a fully charged battery. Right now, they're saying they do that under five minutes, which I think it's crazy. I haven't seen it in action. I mean, I've seen videos how it works on, on Neo's website, but I've never seen one in person. So, but they say it, it does it under five minutes. So, I mean, I'll take their word for it because that's something that's easy for somebody else to prove. So. Um, they're building these uh, stations across China so that instead of you uh, going and plugging your, your electric vehicle to get charged, you can simply just drive in. It takes about five minutes. You swap the battery with a fully charged battery and you're out the door. And for Neo, this is a subscription-based business where as a company, they make good money doing that. So that's something that uh, I think is pretty unique about them. So again, some other good news that Neo uh, actually put out um, just um, this month or last month. Uh, if you can see here, they provided an update for their uh, July delivery uh, numbers as well as the fact that their um, first uh, ES8 got shipped to Norway. So I think I covered that in, our, in the previous video here on the channel. But if, if you didn't watch that video, definitely those are some of the updates that uh, Neo did, which I think it's um, really, really good. So again, um, this uh, battery swap station being placed and then these delivery numbers that came out and also expanding into Europe and uh, Norway. Again, like I said, I talked about that here on the channel. So again, if we go back, uh, the key things I want to say, Neo is going to report their Q2 earnings uh, tomorrow. So that is going to be uh, August 11th after market close um, in the US. So after uh, 3 p.m. Central Time, then um, at any time uh, after that, they're going to report their earnings. So for me, uh, what am I looking at here? What were the guidance that Neil gave us for Q2? 
what did they tell us they were their goals were so the first thing is that they gave us delivery numbers somewhere between 21,000 to 22,000 vehicles they wanted to deliver that many vehicles um, in Q2 uh, and so I think that's that's pretty good if they can match that and actually do it then they are on track and then they estimated their revenue to be about 1.25 to uh, 1.3 billion dollars so those were the guidance that they give so we're gonna have to see if they can meet those guidance or beat them that would definitely impact how uh, investors react after the earnings call comes out so to me that's something that I, I want to make sure that you guys are simply um, aware of so uh, one major thing though for the month of July, New York actually did uh, well with their deliveries. So they, 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 they delivered good uh, numbers. But um, compared to uh, Xpeng and Lee Auto, Neo was actually lagging. Even with the whole struggle of chips in, um, in, our, in making vehicles, every, every company from Tesla to Ford, most of these uh, car manufacturers had the chip uh, shortage. So Neo also faced that challenge, which I think is one of the reasons why um, their delivery numbers were impacted for the month of July. But I anticipate that that's not going to happen again uh, moving forward. So uh, what do I expect? So based on that, the fact that uh, Neo didn't really meet their uh, delivery numbers or got beat by X, uh, Xpeng and, and Lee Auto for the month of July, that might not feel good for investors. You might see a little pullback. And then if they miss their, their revenue between 1.25 1 to 1 1.3 billion, expect that investors are not going to be happy with that. Uh, as well as if their total overall delivery numbers, um, which came out to, I think, about 21,000 and some, and some change. Um, right now, that's where it's sitting at, the total overall delivery number. So um, investors will probably be like, hey, we wanted to see more. Why not 22,000? Why not 23? And they can explain that is because of the shortage of uh, the cheap shortage that they couldn't do that delivery. So that might be uh, something that you would see uh, moving forward. So again, those are some of the things that uh, just from a guidance standpoint that I'm going to be looking at. And so if Neo miss out again on the revenue, on the delivery numbers, expect a pullback. These pullbacks, guys, is a, a buying opportunity for those of you that are looking to add to your position or to get into the stock. So when this, something like this happens, make sure that you take advantage of this and actually go in and buy the, the, the dips. And that's how you continue to build um, a long-term position in my personal opinion. So as you can see, guys, again, NEO is poised to come out tomorrow. I anticipate that they're going to beat their the delivery numbers that 20, 21,000 to 22,000 vehicles. They're going to fall somewhere within that range for deliveries. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know about the revenue, though. If the revenue really catches that 1.25 to 1.3, if it's somewhere between there, then I'm pretty sure NEO is not going to take that uh, big of a beating. But if they miss out on any of those numbers, anticipate that they're going to take a massive bidding. And then we also want to see their projections. What are the guidance that they're going to give for Q3? Uh, do they look at improving on those numbers, the delivery numbers from between 21 and 22 to say 24 and 25? And then revenue to say 1.5 to 1.6 billion? Um, I want to see those too. If they give those numbers and everything comes out, like we say, the stock price is probably going to see a little jump, but if not, if they miss out, you're going to see a pullback. But for long-term investors, that's an opportunity for you to jump in and continue to buy and improve or increase your position size. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.